Hey everyone, it's only Steve. Right, do a quick beer review. One of my own beers. This is me No Hop Rhubarb Beer. So, it's an experimental beer. I maybe should have just done it with half a batch, but I did nearly, nearly 20 litre batch, 23 litre batch. And if it takes up pants, it's going down the drain. But see, it's not a bad colour. So I've only just took it out of the fridge. A bit of sediment on the bottom. I brewed it on the only on the third of this third of April, and I bottled it on the eleventh for the fourth. So it's only been in a bottle thirteen days. So it's still quite young. And this is the one I did with. Got these ingredients in front of me. Um, out of date mango jacks, Bavarian yeast M twenty. So it was seven months out of date. So, and I did it with the rest of the ingredients. Marisotta, torrified wheat milk, wheat malt, 500 grams of medium spray malt, one and a half kilos of malt extract, and 500 grams of sugar, and four pound of rhubarb. Then I put two packs of this yeast in. I was going to use the yeast with the, my wheat beer, but I didn't want to take the chance thinking, well, it might go tits up. But, as soon as I put this in, within six hours, it was bubbling away. So I maybe should have put it in the other one. So, I'll give this a crack. So I've tried the re normal rhubarb beer, and that's nice. Let's see what this baby's like. Mm. No hop rhubarb beer. Put the hiss on there. Not too much of a cannon smoke. I wasn't expecting much anyway. I smell some but I'm not too sure what it is. But do I want to taste it? I don't want to taste it. Right, I'll give it a pop. So I don't know if I should leave it longer or drink it while it's young. <coughs> and that doesn't look too good at all, does it? Well carbonated, as you can see in the bottom. See my ugly muck full of up. Nice compacted head. Because this has only been in the bottle, say 13 days. That yeah, looks alright, that. Lacing. You see the mango jacks, it says it's got a vanilla and banana smellish. It's got a lingering aftertaste. That's what it produces. It has got a distinctive taste. I don't taste smell. I can't see all day and smell that, can I? Going for the drink. See you in a minute. I taste some of it. I think it's a bit of the van vanilla or banana, but I can't taste real bad. It's not that bad actually. It's better than what I thought because I also had a few comments saying you should have put bit between hops in it. I've done put some hops in it. It leaves a little bit of a taste on the back of the tongue. Like a, a Moorish taste. But look at look at that, look at the head on that. Nice lacing. Can't go wrong with that. Well carbonated. So I was thinking about dry hopping it. We're too, too late now, like, I've already bottled it. Oh, that's alright, that, sorry. It's 
it's got a taste, but I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the, like I said, the yeast, the vanilla and bar, banana lingering taste, and it's mixed with the rhubarb. I don't think I'll just try it without the rhubarb. Try it with the rhubarb, sorry. Nothing else, no hops. But I think that yeast has made a difference. Wheat yeast. I can't believe it looks. An extract, bro. And this is the one of the uh, malt extract, the cheap malt extract that I bought. Bruce Smart, I think it was. Like Four ninety five for one and a half kilos. Half the price of the Cooper's kit. No, that's all right, huh? I'm just hoping it don't, it don't get any worse with age. But I say it's got a taste, but I'll live with that. So, anybody wants to do an experimental brew with rhubarb and some Mango Jack 720 out of the seven months out of date, give it a go. Thanks very much.